2017 corn harvest in Kentucky produced a surplus, leaving producers with a problem where to put it all while they wait on prices in the depressed market due to supply and demand. Several methods of alternative storage are being used in western Kentucky, from machinery storage sheds to these 10-foot by 300-foot bags that can hold over 11,000 bushels. So we chose to go with more temporary investment here for this location. Brian Schaus is using the bags for the first time this year. So we were very satisfied with putting the grain in the bags. We thought it was... Uh, was it was efficient probably even more efficient than some of our smaller bins on some 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 farms further away um, so we were pretty satisfied with the conditions here Schaus decided to go with the bags because he didn't have time to add more bins when crop yields turned out to be better than projected meanwhile at Hendrickson Farms in Union County Dan Hendrickson decided to convert this former cattle facility by reinforcing walls, adding aeration fans, and enclosing three sides of the building. And then we just had to go to dumping it in there and, and then uh, come up with a number. But we had a, we was curious to, at first to kind of see what kind of, where we could be in the ballpark at on how much you could store in there. Now it's a challenge for farmers to find a way to, to use their assets to make the most money and, and a way to be profitable is to have a low-cost storage alternative. University of Kentucky Agricultural Engineer for Grain Storage Systems, Sam McNeil, has been working on alternatives for grain storage throughout his career. He came up with a spreadsheet for producers to calculate how many bushels they can get in an alternative storage solution. So in Kentucky this year, we have about 15 million more bushels held on farm than we've had this time last year. Uh, part of that's because of the low prices, but um, some of that corn is in structures like you see here because we did have higher yields than, than were anticipated. Sam's spreadsheet has made that very easy for farmers to put in their exact dimensions of their structures and it will tell them exactly how many bushels that they can hold in that particular structure. McNeil's calculators and spreadsheets help producers figure out the amount of grain, various sizes, and types of structures can hold. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.